All right. We're the Hebrew Israelites. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right, we want to give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where we learn this truth and knowledge from. All right, we want to give uh, blessings and salutation to all the brothers out throughout the four corners of the earth, laboring, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth and in humility. All right, we come out here week in and week out as vessels of the Heavenly Father to, to prophesy and teach, all right, to teach the, the doctrine, the true Heavenly Father of, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible, all right? So we come out here to preach to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American because you are known as the children of Israel in the Bible, all right? Which are known as the princes of the power right. or the sons of God. If you're a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American, according to your father's line, you are son of the Most High. And that's who we out here for, all right? We out here to wake up the elect among you. Because the children of Israel is the, are the chosen, but the Lord also even have a chosen among that chosen. Right. And, and those are the ones that who the Lord is going to put the spirit on to open their minds up and actually grasp and understand this, this word, man. Right. So that's why we come out here week in and week out to make sure the word is being put out there so the elect can receive it. All right, the rest of you, you already condemned. If you're not of the, of the chosen, you already condemned. You're not going to make it. All right. St. John chapter 10, verse 27, uh -huh. says, uh, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. That's talking about the Lord's chosen. All right? The sheep hear the Lord's voice, and they hearken. Read up, son. Read up. Go ahead. This is verse, um, verse 24. It says, Then came the Jews around about him and said unto him how long does thou make us to doubt if thou be the anointed or Christ tell us plainly and how shall I answer them I told you and ye believe not the works that I do in my father's name they bear witness of me uh -huh. but ye believe but believe not it says because ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you so this, this is distinguishing between the Lord's chosen and, and, and the two-thirds, man. The two-thirds don't believe, you know? They didn't believe the Lord then in, in the works that he'd done, and it's going to manifest in this day and time who's of the chosen because the ones that are of the chosen, they actually uh, uh, could attend to this, man. Go ahead. It says, uh, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them. The Lord knows his elect, man. You know? Before the foundation of the world even began, he knew them. And it was already programmed, it was already positioned and programmed for them to already get it, man. You know? And when they finally heard this word, it awoke their spirit. And they, and they followed the Lord ever since. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6 but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry uh -huh. by how much also he is the mediator of a better company uh -huh. which was established upon better promises yep. the purpose that I read that for was, was, was basically just to say um, all the two thirds ain't going to get it yep. the two thirds of, of the Negro Latino and Native American y'all don't get it yep. So, so, but the one, the elect one third is going to get it, yep. just because that's the spirit of the heavenly Father that wants to be, to be that way. But that's a better ministry. You ain't got to worry about the whole nation like before of going off. That's right. Just one hundred forty-four thousand and one third is the ones that's going to be chosen to get it. That's right. The other ones, the Lord don't want y'all. Y'all ain't right, and y'all ain't going to get right. He blinded y'all. That's right. Another one to, to, to go on top. Uh, Isaiah chapter six, verse nine. And, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. Yep. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yep. Make the heart of this people fat, and make thy, their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. That's right, man. 
It's like the Lord pretty much put up a, 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 a brick wall uh, so high that you can't climb it. And then he also put some 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 uh, some earplugs made out of brick, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and made you some sunglasses, man. Dark sunglasses. Spiritually, man. For the two thirds. And that's why you can't grasp or understand the, the wisdom in this book, man. That's why you can't get the breakdowns. That's why you stumble and get offended on certain things in the scriptures. You know, you you try to you try to uh, try to creep in and you try to uh, grasp and, 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 and get the honey, but then you don't. Uh, when it, once it start to get bitter, you spit it out. That's because you're not of of, of the uh, Lord's sheep. The ones that 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 the Lord actually opened up in the spirit to actually understand this, man. And brothers that are awoken, you, you're supposed to be appreciative and praise the most high that the Lord even allowed you to receive this, man. Right. You don't need none of us. You don't need any, raise, any of us. You can raise up stones to exactly. do what we do. Exactly, man. And the reason why the Lord have us come out week in and week out is because not only was it a commandment from Yahweh Shai himself, but also it's because the all of the elect haven't been woken up yet. Right. They still, it's, they, it's still some of them out in the world. How, how did that scripture go? How could they uh, believe? Romans 10. Romans 10, if they have been a preacher? Yep. When and faith them. come by hearing, right? Yep. Yeah, that, you can get that real quick. Get, read what you still I had and then get those. Them. Romans 10. So, um, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears uh -huh. and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Understand with their heart and convert and be healed. You know? Meaning the, 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 the Lord opened up your, your your spirit for true understanding. And that's how you be converted into the truth. You know? But if, if you don't have understanding, how could you be converted? And the Lord said, it's up to the Father if, if he draws you in. You know? Uh, Romans 10 verse 14 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed uh -huh. and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard yep. and how shall they hear without a preacher yep. how you going how, how can you hear without somebody preaching it to you right. you know that's why the Lord got his men out cr crying out and, and, and prophesying man so that you can hear hear his word, man. The Lord not gonna come down and, and speak to you. He uses his men to do it. And if you are the sheep, you gonna receive it. chapter 5 verse 25 so verily verily I say unto you the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of the most high and who is that dead talking about it's, it's, it's talking about the nation of Israel man right. Even, the, dry bones. the dry bones but out of that elect is who the Lord's going to give life to first and there, and there is a spiritually dead out there We're that's, and that's, and that's what I'm referring to Right. All of Israel at one point was spiritually dead, but the Lord opened up the seals and the, the true understanding came out and it awoken the ones that was that was meant to uh, to, to be become awoken to, man. And that's that's the elect. Alright? And they that hear shall live. And they that hear shall live mean what? Once you hear this truth. It's gonna it's gonna resonate with your spirit, and you're gonna come in. You're gonna be converted, and what, what's what's the uh, end result of actually hearkening unto the word of the Lord? That means you're about to get uh, everlasting life. Salvation. I got it, bro. You good? Yeah. Good. Salvation. <laughs> Salvation. Everlasting life. Right. Go ahead, bro. It says, "For as the Father hath life in Himself, so hath He given to the Son." to have life in himself and have given him authority to execute judgment also right, right. because he is the son of man. That's right. That's right, man. Marvel not yeah. at this, mm -hmm. for the hour is coming in, in the which <laughs> where all are 
in the graves shall hear his voice. That's right. That's talking about Israel, man. Because it was a point, it was a spirit, it was a point in time when the truth wasn't out. It was a falling away from the Most High at one point. Right. You know? But the Lord, the Lord uh, opened up the spirit and, and, and uh, uh, if brothers can uh, I'm, re I'm pretty sure brothers in the know understand, but if, for, if you can receive it, John the Baptist had to come back, man. Right. You know? And who we know in the spirit to be, uh, Alba Bivens. Right. You know? If it wasn't for him and the men that he taught, down down to uh, Elder Aria and, and Masha and, and Yaquab, right? Those elders that, that our elders speak of and give uh, reverence to, double honors to, the Lord actually gave his understanding to those men. And then through that, it, the, the word spread, man. And then with YouTube and the internet being uh, brought out, being broadcast, it spread to the world, man. Right. You know? The spirit led you to the videos. The spirit led men to the videos, man. Straight up. And we, and, you know what I'm saying, we all, we, we didn't went through that, man. We could uh, attest to that. We could testify of such, man. Starbuck 28 it says, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in, in the which all are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life. That's talking about his elect. Yep. Go ahead. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Yep. So when you can't, the two thirds that come back, they have they got to get their judgment. That's why we say two-thirds of Israel is going to be put to death. Because you deny the Heavenly Father, you deny His Son, Yahweh Shah. You wicked as all hell. You refuse to repent from, 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 uh, uh, from your sins, your wickedness. You know? So that's one of the reasons why you're going to be resurrected to damnation. Alright? Parts of, parts of the damnation, you have to partake in this, which we know is martial law. That's coming to America real soon. Right. All right, it's gonna be a point in time when, 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 the, when, when Obama and, and the government call for martial law, none of you people gonna have uh, uh, the freedom that you have now. Yep. It's gonna be troops just like you see, uh, carting off uh, 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 the, strip. the strip, carting off uh, uh, different intersections. You are gonna have uh, uh, roadblocks, yep. checkpoints, curfews, and they are gonna be policing you with tanks and all that other stuff, man. MRAPs, MRAPs, why, why militarized your, vehicles. Why, why would your uh, your local police department need an MRAP, which is like basically a, a, an urban tank? Yep. Why would they need that? Yep. Do we have landmines and all that? Yep. But they know what's about to happen. That's coming to America, and that's and guess what? That's judgment from the Heavenly Father. That's right. You know. So if you if you're resurrected to damnation, these are the things that you're gonna have to uh, uh, catch. And this is the ultimate one. This is the one that you, you but if you are, if you are an Israelite, you better pray you don't get this, man. Because according to the prophecies of the Heavenly Father in this Bible, America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Along with all their, their American citizens, not just the land, the citizens are going to die here with it. That's the right. elect is going to get up out of here. So if you're not of the chosen of the Heavenly Father, you're going to be left down here on American soil when Russia, China, and all the other uh, 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 enemies of America begin to shoot their nuclear missiles on this place. Right. All right. The, the scriptures speak of uh, uh, how Sodom and Gomorrah, how nobody inhabit that place. America's going to be the same way. Nobody's going to inhabit this place. It's going to be a, a memorial. Right. This place is going to be laid flat. You ain't going. You ain't going to see no uh, Viva Las Vegas, fabulous Las Vegas Strip, the uh, Bally's and. and the, the Caesar's Palace, the Mirage, all that's gonna be destroyed. You ain't gonna see mountains. You ain't gonna see none of this, man. Right now is as the Garden of Eden. It's paradise right now. You in your comfort zones. You can go on vacations. You can enjoy your families. But we coming into that day where the Lord is gonna get rid of all that, man. He's gonna take away the, the spirit of mirth from you people. Because he's not happy with America, man. America is one wicked kingdom. And the Lord's going to destroy it off the face of the earth. Thus saith the Lord.